Hey guys, welcome back to more AFK Arena. In today's video, we have Calthan. I think we go with Squidward. So we got Squidward in the game. <laughs> I'm sorry, but Calthan is just, it, it's just a bit hard to roll off the tongue for me. So Squidward in the game, dude, I love that walking with the with the arms. Like that is so cool. Let's check him out. I haven't honestly have not read anything yet. I just wanted to jump in and take a look, give you guys my thoughts as we go. Um, so he is going to be a warrior, strength based warrior. So let's see what he's got. I'm expecting him to have like Tamaris style grouping, but that's about all I've really expected. I don't know anything else. Let's check. Expand the description. All right. He extends he extends to three doom brushes. I'm assuming that's the tentacles, damaging up to three enemies. Targeting at the enemy heroes farthest from him and dealing damage equal to 320% of his own attack while in while imprinting the enemy with uh, some engraving for six seconds. This effect reduces the target's buffer by 30 points. He then pulls the target, the targets close to him and stuns them for three seconds. Okay. So it's, it's a group up with a stun with a buffer reduction and some damage. That's the way I understand it. For every Doom Brush extended, when no escape is used, he gains 12 points of erosion and 20% damage reduction for 8 seconds. The minimum number of Doom Brushes from no escape is increased to 4. Nice. At the start of battle, he gains 500 energy. That's clutch. That is clutch. The 500 energy thing is super clutch to get that ult off quicker and be able to group everything up straight away. Now, do we have another way for him to instantly go to ult? Or is it just literally you put in Rowan and then he's GG insta ult? Is that going to be the only way? Uh, dude, I can't think of anything else at the moment. My brain's, my brain's cooked. All right, next up, passive. Uh, his normal attacks can knock enemies back. Each normal attack hits... Uh, Hit, each normal attack hit permanently steals two points of their attack speed. Okay, good. In in this way, he can gain up to 30 points of attack speed, and enemies can lose up to 50 points of attack speed. Each attack steals three points of attack speed, can go up to 60 points of attack speed. There is no limit to the attack speed that... Oh, that enemies can lose, but he can't steal. I was going to say, there's no limit to the amount of attack speed he can steal. That is nuts, but it's no limit to the amount the enemies can lose. So he can slow them down a ton. All right, next one. Waves his Doom Brush, dealing six strikes of damage, equal 100% of his attack to enemies within range and knocking back nearby enemies. So he has a group on his ult and not back here. I don't know how synergistic that is, but we'll see. Each strike will also restore 5% of his lost health. Okay, we've got self-sustain. The skill's speed is not affected by haste, but the number of strikes increases based on the amount of attack speed, so we can get more strikes. Okay. Uh, do, 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 do. Has seized... Oh, wait. The amount of attack speed that he seized with his Vicious Cries up to maximum of nine stacks. We can get up to nine strikes. I think that's what it's saying. Uh, he gains 85% damage reduction for the duration of the skill. Okay, good mitigation. Every four strikes, the skill inflicts extra health loss equal to 200% of his attack. And then 30 engraving, every three strikes, the skill inflicts extra loss equal to 240%. 30 engraving uh, doesn't seem too like functionally important. It's a damage increase, but it doesn't seem too functionally important. So we'll see how that goes with engraving 60. All right, passive. For every instance of health loss he causes, okay, uh, he permanently increases his attack rating by 3% and attack speed by 2 points. So this this attack speed stacks on top of the other attack speed that he gets, stacking up to 10 times. Not too bad. When a target enemy is far away, he leaps with his Doom Brush uh, and rapidly approaches them. Upon landing, he deals damage equal to 250% of his attack rating to nearby enemies. For every instance of health loss caused by he, he permanently gains 5%, and two points, okay, so that just increased the attack percent from three to five. Uh, he is immune to control effects while leaping. Upon landing, he deals damage to nearby enemies and knocks them into the air. Okay, so we've got, we got more CC. And then 60 engraving. For every instance of health loss caused, he permanently increases his attack rating by 8% and his attack speed by 4%. On, And I'm assuming this still stacks to 10. So that's a pretty big increase on E60. It's a pretty decent increase. Going from 30% to 80% attack increase. 
and 20 to 40. Honestly, the attack speed isn't as big, I don't think, because he's already got such an attack speed buff that's coming from the other ability, but it is still definitely uh, not, not something to scoff at. Uh, and he obviously gets erosion because he does so much health loss. Okay, cool. Uh, let's take out the signature item. Uh, the damage from each strike of Frenzied Stains is increased to 120%, so we get damage increase. The damage from each strike increased to 150%. The maximum number of strikes from Frenzied Stains is increased to 12. And with those, wait, is that this one? No, it's this one. Uh, so it's increased to 12, but then he can also increase it. Each strike will also restore 5% of lost health, so he's also getting the healing on it. Okay, so that's not too bad. I just had to refresh my memory on what that was. Uh, the maximum number of strikes, 12. Uh, okay, 30 is the skill frenzied stains will impose another engraving on the target. Okay. And then the maximum number of strikes from frenzy is increased to 15. He is immune to control for the duration. So he's immune to control while using this. He goes up to 15 strikes and it can be extended further the way I understand it. And he gets 85% damage reduction and he gets immunity to control. That's not too bad. I don't know how necessary that's going to be, uh, but we'll have to wait and see how he plays. For the duration of his engraving, uh, of th that engraving that he applies, if the target has changed position within the last one second, they will suffer health loss equal to 300% of his attack rating. Keeping in mind, he's increasing his attack, he's increasing his erosion. The farther the distance traveled, the greater the health loss, up to a maximum of 360. So this, I, I think, is where he has the knockback and the pull in. So he's going to keep cycling enemies away and towards to keep procking this is the, the synergy I think they're going for. We'll have to wait and see. If the enemy health percentage is lower than 15% when the engraving ends uh the enemy will be butchered sweet insta kill the health reduction from butchery cannot exceed 800 percent of his attack rating every time he slays an enemy hero his attack rating permanently increases by 20 dude dude's got tons of buffs self-healing control grouping honestly my first impression just from reading the kit dude sounds cracked do sounds cracked. Now, how good he is in functionality and how good he is at low copies, we'll have to wait and see. But the most important thing is how cool is his animations? Okay, that's the thing where he, do, where he gets up to like 15 and then he can stack more. So that's the grouping on the ult. So the ult damage isn't crazy because you don't even one-shot these things. But he does gain stacking buffs. So that's his jump on ability. That's the group up. And now he should do his boop, 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 where he gets up on two and then he starts striking. And, the, and during that thing where he's doing the strikes, he's, if you have him maxed out, he's immune to control effects and he's got 85% damage reduction. Plus, didn't he have another like bit of damage reduction in his kit as well? Honestly, pretty cool. Pretty cool. All right, let's jump in here. Now, he does have self-sustain. So all, as we always do with a character that has self-sustain, it's not really going to work against this, but we got to try them by themselves first. So he starts with that, that good chunk of energy. Uh, he's going to group here. Okay, and then he should do his stand-up thing and go pew, 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 pew. Because if he does his pew, 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 he's fine. Because then he gets heals. All right. He didn't really... He took a while to do his pew, pew, pew. Unless I missed something. But his pew, pew, pew took a while. But, um... What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Uh, let's just put him, like, I know he did it by himself, but let's just put him in with Lucius just to see if we can see him stand up and do his pew 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 because I want to see when that... So, so okay, so he's instantly going to jump in and then do his pew pew pew. I didn't see it healing him, though, for each strike. Oh, it's because it's based on lost health. And then we have the execute threshold there as well. You can see it's, it's sort of similar to... um To what's-his-faces, to Ezio's. I mean, I feel like he's cracked. I feel like he's cracked. So he doesn't do the jump when he's in the front row by the looks of it. So there's the group up. Everyone's in. And then you can see you can see down the bottom he got a little bit of healing from that. So the healing doesn't seem it, it, it could because it's five percent of lost. Wait, let me let me check this. Where, where was it? Okay, 
The Doom Brush. Deals six strikes of damage equal to 100% of his attack rating to enemies within range and knocking back nearby enemies. Each strike also restores 5% of his lost health. Yeah, if that was max health, that would be cracked because when you're doing 15 of those, that is a mega heal. The skill's speed is not affected by haste, but the number of strikes is increased based on the amount of attack, attack speed uh, he has seized with Vicious Crush up to a maximum of nine. The strike... So this is, is that an additional nine on top of the 15? he gets once we max this out was it was it was it here that he got it or was it here that he got it yeah this goes up to 15 strikes i'm trying to understand the wording let me know if you guys know the the skill speed is not affected by haste but the number of strikes increases based on the amount of attack speed up to a max of nine strikes is that up to a total max of nine strikes or is that up to a maximum of nine additional strikes because it can't be to a maximum of nine strikes because once you have 15, that would be reducing the cap. So my understanding on the wording would be that it, or, or maybe it's just three extras. So instead of 15, you get 18 or it's 24. So it's either 18 or 24, it has to be. You guys let me know what you think. But in general, I think this guy is pretty cracked. That is my first impressions. Uh, depends how high deficits, how he goes on there with, uh, with, let me think about this. So I think even in high deficits, he's still going to be good. The starting 500 energy is huge. So I think you can make him work. Uh, he's basically just going to be a, a, like a, a better damage dealing Tamaris is the way I look at it. Uh, if you're running with a Rowan with the potion, so he get, insta get the potion. And it looks like when he starts in the back row, he's going to jump into the middle of the enemies, group them all up, and away you go. That's the way I'm understanding it. That's the way I'm looking at it. I'll have to test him. But in general, I think he's going to be good for that. But then he has damage. And for bossing... Bossing, I think he's going to be good for bossing too. Uh, I think with that many attack, that like the amount of self buffing he has, plus I don't know, maybe reducing the boss's attack speed could have some additional benefits. But maybe, maybe it's less benefits because you're taking less damage, getting less energy. I don't know. But in general, as a general unit, I think pretty cracked. Let me know what you guys think. As always, thanks for watching. Hope you have an awesome day. I look forward to seeing the next one. Cheers.